uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here. Um, some of you have been here before, I think, so I'd rather say welcome back. Um, just give you a quick overview. Um, so Alfaltava is obviously a small village, much smaller than Graz, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's home of, of, of AMG since, I don't know, se uh, since the 70s, when uh, Aufrecht and Mecher moved to Alfaltava. Um, they started the business a little bit close to here, uh, not far away. Um, and yeah, AMG as a dynamic brand, brand is located here, and uh, obviously we are pretty successful. Think about our growing GT family, um, the GTR, we just presented recently in, in Brooklands and Goodwood, and the two new Roadster variants, um, which we just released and. Uh, you're not going to see that today, yeah. I think. Right? No, but they go to Paris today, so you will see you're rather gonna see soon. It. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow night. Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're growing fast with our whole model range. And uh, the biggest step for us as a company regarding volume, regarding our portfolio, are the 43 models. So, what's the idea behind these cars? And uh, we know um, in the meantime, the gap between the Mercedes-Benz standard cars and the 63, for example, in the C class is pretty big uh, regarding power output and everything. And we know that many people love sporty driving. But um, in certain cases, sometimes the step of, uh, I don't know, maybe C400 or C300 to C63 uh, with additional 200 horses and totally different driving dynamics is sometimes a little bit, a little bit big. And, uh, but even our customers, they want to have sporty drivings and some newcomers in the brand, they want to have sporty driving and, and people want to move up coming from a C400 to a more sporty car. And uh, that was one of the main reasons to introduce the 43s, to close the gap between the Mercedes-Benz standard cars, C300, C400 for example, and even there are more sporty than in the past. Yeah. To C63. So the 43 for us are the new entry point into the world of our brand, into the world of AMG. And uh, uh, they are a great package, you're going to experience it now, today, um, regarding everyday driving, sporty handling, and even a, a redesigned and re engineered power output behavior. And they are running pretty successful. So we have. Uh, a nice situation regarding our volume for, for this year. And uh, it's, it's, it's a wide portfolio in the meantime, coming with the SSC Roadster as a 43, the C-Class as a sedan, as a wagon, as a convertible, and as a coupe. E-Class sedan and wagon, GSC, the SUV, and the coupe, and even the GLE as an SUV and a coupe. All of them are now available as a 43. And in the US, the GLE 43 is going to arrive in, in early 2017. <coughs> All 43 models are pretty different cars in comparison to maybe a, coming back to the C class, C43, C400 are really different cars. And they have, and they share all, all of them share the typical attributes, attributes we developed and engineered for the 43 models. And um, yeah, it's, you know, it's all about passion and, and our engineers here in Alfaltabach and they're close by, all of them are there. You know. uh, you're not going to meet them today, I think. Um, but regarding driving dynamics, the team working on driving dynamics on, of a GTR, they do as well a C43 and an E43. With maybe a different perspective and a different target and a different driving dynamics expectation same people. Yeah. So um, for us, it's every every 43 as well. Ha they, these cars they have to fulfill our expectation regarding driving dynamics and driving performance, yeah. and they have to fit into the brand. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be it would be not sustainable uh, expanding the portfolio. And so they share all of them the same technical, so to speak, content. To meet our requirements 
regarding driving dynamics as an overall package. Um, starting with the engine, they share all of them, share the, the, the three liter v V6 by Toby engine. Um, in the US version, for example, the E43 offers 396 horsepower and 384 foot power. But of course, the definition, it's not about performance, it's not about, and it's not all about um, power output or <coughs> torque. It's about how, it, how the powertrain delivers the power. And everything was redesigned from our side. So we have different camshaft timing. We, have, we do have a different turbocharger in, in these engines. Um, we take care about all the thermodynamics and the mechanical aspects uh, um, in, these, in these engines. What we're chasing for, for example, instant throttle response and a differentiation in throttle response coming with the driving programs you know, from comfort to sport to sport plus. So we're chasing, for instance, for typical sporty behavior of the whole powertrain. And you're going to experience that today, I'm, I'm pretty sure about. And the 43s, for example, they share with the, with the 63s that you have three different levels of ESP. So you can, with the 43, you can switch it totally off. Yeah. Not totally off means totally off. And experience the car better on a racetrack, not on the, on <laughs> the, not not on the open road. <laughs> Um, <coughs> how it behaves and the demands driving a car without electronic support functionalities is in our company personally it's my one of my hobbies it's always you have to you have to feel the car yeah, and to be predictable what it's got what's going to happen next with the car and uh, for experienced driver it should be easy to drive the car and handle it even if you're in a critical situation on a racetrack it's easy to feel the car and get it back on a on a safe line. Yeah. This is uh, what we what we expect from every car, which we which we sign off, so to speak. Uh, we adopted the transmission, uh, the application, as well. So the mapping of engine and gearbox, the whole powertrain mapping, was done in house. Uh, and uh, we have an upgraded uh, braking system. And coming with the overall package of a 43. It's for sure, it's our suspension. Uh, the 43s, they share the, the suspension with the 63, the C-Class, for example. And every 43, they have the dedicated front axle. So we engineered the new front axle for every 43, uh, C-Class, GLC, E-Class. Uh, they use a dedicated steering regarding ratio and, and, and steering response as well. And elastic kinematics, front axle, rear axle are always dedicated. Some rear axle suspension arms as well. So it's always talking about an overall package and not just a badge and not just an engine. Yeah, it's very important for us. So in our perspective, the 43s, they live, they live perfectly our definition of driving performance. Yeah. And they fulfill every demand regarding that special segment, yeah, the sporty segment, not the high-end performance segment. And they fulfill every demand what we apply on the car, under the brand, under the roof of the brand AMG for that segment. And what we receive from our customers is, makes us pretty confident. So it's, we have a lot of positive feedback, even we saw some uh, comparison tests, which uh, gives us a smile. Uh, so um, looking forward to hear from you, how you're gonna experience them today. We're gonna meet us, I think, again tomorrow, tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah, so you're free to give me any feedback how you feel the cars. And, uh, enjoy the ride today. I see it's going to be blue sky. Mm -hmm.